Hey everybody, happy Friday evening to everyone out there. Well, actually, uh, happy early Saturday morning, I should say. It's about uh, 20 minutes to 1 a.m. here. Before I begin, let me say rest in peace to uh, DMX, the rapper who sadly passed away earlier today at age 50. I spoke about uh, what happened to him uh, a couple of days ago in a little vlog that I made after I heard what happened to him. He was found unconscious, he was put on life support, and uh, sadly he, uh, he didn't make it. And the problem was, was simply, he OD'd. I remember reading a paragraph from his book that um, he got hooked on drugs at age 14 by someone who he looked up as a mentor, as a good friend, which he revealed now as a snake. Apparently this friend was the one who got him on drugs and um, Exus never really took the time to get clean or get sober or anything. You may remember he was uh, busted a few times on narcotic charges and this and that. He had trouble with the IRS. Like I said in the uh, vlog regarding his situation, I'm going to say in this vlog right here, if you're still using drugs, now's the fucking time to get help, get treatment, get straight, because sooner or later, Shit like what happened with uh, Earl Simmons may happen to you. If not that, worse. And that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> I was supposed to um, go live with both Arknoia and uh, Minnesota Vikings fan uh, yesterday there. Sadly, I wasn't able to because the day before, they called me in to uh, come into work this past Thursday. It was supposed to be my day off, but you know how sometimes my workplace is, they need uh, all the help they can get because I guess some um, executives were uh, coming by to, to check out the store, learn how progress is going, and they needed everybody there to make sure things were going smoothly. You know, to impress the uh, management and all that good shit there. And um, my next day off will be this coming uh, Tuesday. I don't know how uh, Thursday is going to play out. I have yet to even check that. Most likely I'll be working as well. And I think that again, that may be my only day off this coming Thursday there. I have to go through tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday at work, doing my nine hours as always. And, um, I was also thinking about, I know me and Ark had talked about this one time. I was thinking about stepping away from the music topics that we are doing and getting into the social topics that are going around the world today. We could talk about, you know, what happened with DMX as always. We could talk about, you know, a little bit of politics and drama here and there. But the thing is, you know, Arcanelia's stroke of being is not that uh, flexible on his schedule like I am at times. He says he cannot stay up that late for some reason. I have yet to get the full details on, on that there. Plus, he has a dialysis on a couple of days of the week. And um, I gotta respect that. I don't know, sometime I'll uh, contact him um, before Tuesday or prior to our program on Tuesday and we'll get the full deal, excuse me, the full details on how we can expand our brand a little bit more. And uh, finally tonight, I got my uh, first vaccine shot while I was at work. I know my sister and brother-in-law were uh, concerned about me getting it because, you know, 
the possibility of me feeling weak, having diarrhea, you know, feeling dizzy, this and that. None of that happened after I got my uh, first shot. Thank goodness. The second shot will be in next month. I already have the card, you know, detailing what time and day that they'll do this. And hopefully after that, Numbers Nightclub will be reopening soon, for I understand. And I'm also hoping to go to the Concert Pub North once again to see some cool tribute bands, if there's any out there playing. I miss going to shows, I miss going to clubs and dancing, hanging around with people there. There's so many people I want to see again. Teresa, Amy, Pockets, you know, Ronnie, another guitar player who I've yet to jam with, who lives in the Houston area. There's also Teresa, if I haven't if really mentioned her before, my bad. She plays bass guitar in a couple bands. I'm hoping sometime to do some jamming with her in the near future. And hopefully things will be going uh, smoothly in the near future this coming year. I know already a lot of bands are booking uh, shows and tours next year or a couple months later this year. Slowly but surely. We are all getting back on our feet and living our lives and going places once again. And um, this kind of, I'm going to say this one political thing here and I'm going to let it go for that. You notice that as soon as Joe Biden won the election last November, that's when we got talk about a vaccine but during the whole year when this pandemic was fucking running amok we never once heard Donald Trump tell us about a vaccine being made I guess uh, the vaccine was already in the progress when the pandemic was going on but we never I don't think we ever recalled President Trump when he was still president, speak of any of it. And um, I'm hoping, like I said, to get the second shot sooner before May. But in a way, things are looking up slowly but surely. Can't wait for numbers to reopen. I just hope they uh, keep my schedule to me getting off at 9 p.m like I've been doing for the past couple of days and keep it as that only no later and that's it for this evening I'm going to walk listen to more of this and I'm going to head to bed thank goodness I don't start till noon tomorrow there or actually later today I meant to say I'm Dr. Earl thanks for watching this video leave your comments below Hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel, people. You cats have a good one. Bye-bye.